Hey everybody, Ryan here from Android Coliseum. Somebody asked me to do a description about this nonogram stuff, and uh, I've had to try a couple different apps out there because some of them just drain batteries, the number of ads they do. So uh, this one seems to be okay. Um, but let's see a rundown of how it works. I'm going to do a very easy one, just so you can understand. So the idea is that these things above here tell you there's going to be a run of one you know, dot, there's going to be seven dots in a row, this one's going to have eight dots in a row, this one's going to be ten dots in a row. Now, seeing as this is ten total, we know that's got to be ten all the way through. Same with this ten. Now, this one says it's going to be a row of one, and there's going to be a row of eight. That's kind of easy to tell because this is ten in total. We know there's going to be one. There's got to be one in between and eight. One way it can happen is if it's like... Right, so this one's also going to be 10 here. And you know, we see that there's X's there. This can only be 8. Only be 8. It can only be 8. Actually, very simple. And then you figure out what it looks like at the end. And then you get in there. You don't care about ads. Boring. Whoops. Get out of here. So many ads and ads eat battery. Back to the memory, let's do a medium game now. Okay, so again, I'm going to look at it and say there's obviously 10. That's obviously 10. Now, there's got to be 8. And if it's got an 8 in this row here, it's got to end. This is, has to be the last, last of the 8. So this has got to be 8 in a row there. Same with this. Um, okay, what else can we do? So we know this this is here telling me there's got to be a thing of two. And there's got to be another thing across here of only two. Well, this got to end there. That's easy enough. That's got to be finished there. That's got to be finished there because it's a one and one. One and four. Then a one. You know, if I do the math on it, if I do a one here. Whoops. There's got to be four here, right? So kind of follow these patterns of, you know, it's got to be one. It's got to be one. Only way that we can do that is to do a four there and that. Um, what else can we do here? Well, this here is saying it's three, so it's one, two, three. Same thing here. It's got to be one, two, three. This is going to do a one. A three, so it's going to be three here. Now I don't know if the one is, well, I guessed and I got lucky. Uh, this one is saying it's got to be two, so it's going to be that. Now again, this one, I don't know if it's going to be there or there for the one. It's a guess. But I can look at here and say, well, this one's, there's got to be three here. Well, that's the three there. But this one's got to be three. They're done. This one's going to be four. Pretty very straightforward stuff. Let's fill in this line. Let's do some more. To get 12 in this cage, skip let's all. place three here. Skip. I'm kind of liking these nanograms almost more than um, Sudoku. Let's do a tougher one. Let's do a hard 15 by 15. So we look through and we say, okay, well, this one is going to be, oh, no, it's going to be cross all the way 15. Then I look at the top, and this one's got to be 1, 1. It's got to be a 3. The next, this one's got to be a 4. Next, 7. Next, 4. So you're just trying to do what you know you can do. I like this one because it kind of fills in the blanks for you as you need them. And what else we need? That's done, that's done, that's done there. Okay, so what else can we figure out here? Um, let's see. 
three, this one here is at three, one, one, and then two, right? Two. Now this one here, it could be a one, one, one. Could be a one in the middle there somewhere. It could be, who knows? What else can we do? Eight and four. I don't know. So again, it's about what you can sort of probably tell for sure. It's hard to tell, but I don't want to ruin. I only get three wrong answers before I have to do this whole thing over again. Okay, so let's take a look here. So one, that's a three, two, this is a two. So this is going to be a six, right? Because up here it's a six. Five, six, and that. Uh, okay. Now it doesn't really help me with this guy. Right, because it could be one, 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 and the four could be ending there. We don't know. Mm. Well, I could use one of these sometimes. I don't know why I picked that one, but I did. Okay. So this guy here, so he starts with a two. Well, you can of start here. Don't know if it could be the next one or not, for sure. Then it's got to be another two. So I bet you this is the two. Then it's going to be a one. And then it's going to be a four. So it's got to be the rest of those. I just don't know whether the other two is number three and two and three or three and four. Let's take a look at this one here. So we need a four, a two, so we know it ends, and then a five. Now, I don't know whether the fifth one comes to the top of it or the below of it, but I can know those ones for sure. This one's got two. Two, one, and four. Hmm. It gets trickier. This is where I like these kind of puzzles. They're just trying to figure out what can we do. Uh, let's take a look at this guy here. This was an eight. So that could be the seventh position, or that could be the eighth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't know if it's the one or the nine position for the eighth in a row. That we'd have to sort of figure out. But we can see from here, there's two, well, that doesn't really solve that one there. One, one, two, two. So this has got to be, this has got to be the two. Are you going to do one? Oops. That's gonna be the two there. Hmm, okay. So this one here, this is gonna be the four. That's your bracket, that's that. Whoops. There. Okay, and then doesn't really help, but we can take a look at this one. Four Okay, we got that one. Hmm. So let's see this guy here. Three in the bottom and then two. And then he's gotta have three again. Now again I don't know which three of those four it's gonna be, but those are the in the overlapping. This guy is only two, so we know that it's gotta be there. And then this, we don't know if his four are there, there, but we can put those there. 
I know it can't be there because it can't be two. It can't be there. Oh, this one finished off. So two, three, four, six, seven. So this is gonna be okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. That's gotta be one. That's gotta be one. And that's gotta be four. That's gotta be one. That's gotta be one, and that's gotta be two. Only four there. There's your one. Only four. Only three. Only four. Four. Two, and there's your three. So, again, pretty fun little kind of brain puzzler. See if you like it.